Bas Pro Shop, the land of hunting, fishing, boating, killing animals. Well, I guess that's actually just hunting. Camping. Did you already say that? No. Welcome to the greatest American outdoor store. It's like you're in this enormous log cabin outdoors, but you're actually just inside of a building. But like, it's supposed to be like, oh, it feels like you're outdoors. There's like dead animals propped up. There's like a whole, um, like, I don't know if you'd say it's an aquarium, but there's like this whole fish tank thing happening. Yes. It's part zoo, basically. But it's not a zoo because all the animals are dead. They also have a glass elevator. That's where you know a place is upscale. I didn't wake up and dress myself knowing I was gonna go into a Bass Pro Shop, so I just wore my little pink tight shirt and my painted toenails. And I thought, oh, maybe these hunting men will beat me up, but they actually all loved me and multiple of them asked for my number and like, I was a hit there. So I'm just saying, if you're wearing your little gay outfits, like don't be scared to go in Bass Pro Shop. Yes! <laughs> Jacob, you're not even on theme. Just because it's an outdoor shop doesn't mean it's the same thing. Well, you better get your facts straight because Bass Pro Shops acquired Cabela's for like $4 billion a few years ago, so. Bass Pro Shop has a whole entire clothing section, men and women clothing. We decided to both pick out an outfit and See what we could cook up. Do drag as Bass Pro Shoppers. I gotta be honest, my outfit is nothing to even be remotely excited about. I'm literally wearing a button up kind of like that. And those shorts that I'm wearing, those jean shorts, I could see myself wearing those. Oh yeah, like I feel like um, if you went on your Instagram Explore page and like sometimes you know fashion gay people pop up, like they'd be wearing those exact jeans for a fact with a wife beater tank top, maybe like a few necklaces. Like I feel like that's actually a look. I kind of failed the assignment. The assignment was to do drag as a bus pro shop person, and I failed it. Did I express this to you when I was picking it out? But I feel like I was going for tonight to like the a twink husband to a hunter. <laughs> you, you basically said, um, I'm gonna pick a twink outfit. Oh yeah, so mine was supposed to be like my husband hunts and stuff, but like he was married to a girl before, and then he divorced her and found out he was gay when he was like 38. And then I'm his new husband. We're at a state park. Got the cute high-waisted short, open-chested hunter vest thing, and the hat to protect my skin. Playing a twink, like, they really care about their skin, you know? Yeah, yeah. Even though you made up that whole fake story, I could see in this weird way you just wear this next week. So yeah. I would say you failed the assignment too. Yeah, for sure. It turns out Bass Pro Shop fashion isn't even something you can make a video about and be like, LOL. It's just kind of the actual fashion of the world. Terrific! Love that! Then something agonizing happened. I've been to Bus Pro, Shoot, <laughs> Bus Pro Shop a few times and they always have way too many sales associates trying to sell you their sh**. Like, a few months back I was with my dad and they tried to have us buy a reservation to the Bus Pro Shop Resort in Missouri. I guess they have hotels, I don't know. Yes, we were just minding our own business, strolling around. I wanna say like 58 year old woman. She was shorter than both of us, just so you guys get a visual. She said, do you guys want anything free? We saw she was wearing a Bass Pro Shop employee outfit, so we knew something was going on, but I just said, sure, why not? Like, I don't know why I was playing into it so hard. She said, yeah, you can get a bunch of stuff free. What do you want? You want a t-shirt? <laughs> she like, named off all this stuff that we could get for free. <laughs> then I said, well, what's the catch? She said, well, it's not even really a catch, but you just signed up for our rewards program. And then she asked how old we were because she wanted to make sure we were over 18. <laughs> but she thought we were literal teens. But then once we said um, we were old enough to get it and we didn't want to get it, she was like, wait, really? And then we said, no, we're good. And then she said, oh. And then just looked at us for three seconds and then walked away. But the fact that she even tried to do like the puppy dog thing, I respected so much. So it was for sure uncomfortable, but we need to give her an award. Like she's literally putting on acting for her no. job at Bass Pro Shop. I know, because obviously she gets a commission for each person who signs up for something, but like she probably has learned over the years, if you do the puppy dog, oh, maybe that'll get like 15% of people to change their mind. Practicing shooting animals for when the world ends. Apparently it's supposed to end in like a few months. 
And then how the story always goes. We left Bus Pro Shop spending $58 because we are consumers. We live in a society where we're brainwashed to consume and we're still in that brainwashed state and we're okay with it. What's your number? Oh my gosh, Bus Pro Shop how? Jacob, it's just pathetic. Like, he doesn't want you and you keep texting him. It's just embarrassing. Like, as your brother and friend, like, that's just low self-esteem behavior. Why can't I just fight for the love of my life? He just isn't into you. Okay, well, if you keep being mean, I'm gonna give you a can of whoop peanuts and this is gonna whoop your- Oh my god! No! <laughs> no, I'm gonna force you to eat some. Cause you're being What? Mean. Take some. Don't make me open this can of whoop ass well, I'm gonna have to open it on you. Mmm, I, I love. Try some, to be honest. I'm gonna have to do another handful. I feel like it was gonna be called whoop ass though. It does need to be another level of spice. Yeah. But already, that's like pretty spicy, honestly. I know, I, I do have to admit, I need some water. <laughs> Don't know why everything at Bass Pro Shop has to have cuss words in it, but this is ass kicking bale bread. They're like really trying to prove like, I'm a man, I can eat ass kicking bale bread. Cause if they haven't bread without beer, it's kinda gay. <laughs> Lucas said gay, by the way. Wait, is this like indestructible? Didn't they probably purposely make the packaging to withstand a bullet for some reason? It seems oh, like yeah. that's also a thing they do at these stores. There you go. Ew! Bread meat. So what's this? So this is some habanero spice. And then you add a 12 ounce can of your favorite beer. I don't really have a favorite beer. Honestly, I shouldn't be doing this. My wife should. She's at the Daddles softball game, so what's a man supposed to do? When a man wants spicy beer bread, sometimes he has to make it himself. Get a loaf pan, preferably one that has like a bunch of like that type of stuff in it. Greasy it up. I don't like this smell. It's like spiciness, spiciness mixed with beer, like. I don't really get why anyone would like that, but then again, why would I judge another person for, you know, like, might as well just try to understand. <laughs> don't yuck their yum. That's gross to me, but it really? hasn't even been cooked yet. <laughs> Are we done in an hour? 60 minutes later. Ugh. It looks like it's done. Something about it is reminding me of Texas Roadhouse. I was thinking that. Yes, yeah, it. Shall we dig in? <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, it's kind of stiff. Oh, the inside is <sighs> luxe. I just wish it was sweet. I know, cheers. Immediately, I just don't like it. It's so spicy. Yeah, it's really spicy. The habanero is, it kind of reminds me of a pretzel. I, I actually can't eat anymore. This is kicking your ass. Oh, I immediately have the hiccups. Ugh. Oh my god. Lucas said the Lord's name in vain. Please don't do that. It kicked my ass. Same with me. I'm not gonna have any more. I'm not a fan. No. Like the spice, when it gets to the point where the spice isn't even enjoyable. Wait. You're filming me shower? Funny thing is, I don't even shower anymore because I use dude shower wipes. Dudes don't use the water anymore. That's, that ain't for the dude life. This is probably more environmentally friendly because like there's less water being used. That's actually a good question. Like would this be more environmentally friendly or taking a shower? Because this still is using a lot of like tissues or whatever. Oh yeah, I don't really know. That's I'm a tough sure. one. Um, I'm gonna see if these actually replicate what it feels like to take a shower. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning. I haven't showered yet today, so I walked up a good amount of grease, oil, dirt. Directions. Grab one. Scrub down your face, body, pits, and dude regions. Something about this kind of grosses me out. 
I mean, it does gross me out. I'd rather just take a shower. It is nice how they don't smell like anything. I don't like when products have such a strong scent. I guess I'll do my legs too. <laughs> and now I'm cleaning my, my, my um, regions that can't be seen. Okay, I'm ready for the day now. This package comes with eight body wipes and I use three of them. Three is probably too much. You probably only need two max if you're actually gonna use this. I do feel a little bit more clean than I did five minutes ago. So that's good. Honestly, I don't even feel gross. So if I was in a rush, if I was camping, doing something where I didn't have the ability to go in a normal shower, I would be fine using dude wipes. If I'm able to shower, then I'm definitely going to shower. I would say as a dude myself, every dude should get these. <laughs> <laughs> it's all up to you, actually. <laughs> Give me your Tamagotchi and your Chanel fanny pack. You aren't even wearing it. I don't, I don't have a Chanel fanny you, pack. But you have one. You look like somebody who would have one. Hand it over. Wait. Oh my gosh, what is that? What are you opening up? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, stay over here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh crap. You thought I was just a little boy that you could beat up? I have a little knife that's a, that's a, no, I have this little key that's a knife. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'll do anything. I'll never rob anyone again. Get you the challenge. Uh, ow. Ow. <laughs> and by the way, I did have a Chanel fanny pack and I'm keeping it. I've been practicing acting for a while at the community playhouse. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're both trained actors, so obviously, this wasn't real. This one was pretty goy, but just remember that, I, that it was just acting. I just loved how that character was sort of a twist. I started out as the bad guy, but then I ended up the victim, which as an actor, that was a challenge and it was exciting to take on. I have no idea who Uncle Buck is. I even tried Googling who Uncle Buck is, but I couldn't find who it is find out who it is. That remains a mystery. It makes it feel like you're buying it from a local business, you know? That's true. Instead of a giant corporation. These are fairly good for you because they're made with real cheese. Ooh, naturally and artificially flavored. So that's good that there's at least some natural. I just love a good cheese ball. This is a huge, oh. Kinda oh. a little bit smells gross. I don't, it smells like dog's feet. This would be my dream when I was a kid. Sitting on the couch, toning on Cows the Movie, and just eating these. These don't taste any different than any other cheese ball. Literally, just tastes like Cheetos. You know, like the cheese seasoning you put on popcorn? That's what these taste like. It doesn't taste like, I don't believe it's even real cheese. One of the ingredients is cheese seasoning, and mm. cheese seasoning contains cheddar cheese. Thank you, Uncle Buck. Oh, <laughs> hey, I guess Bush sells bail soap, mountain-sized bail, bail soap, refreshing sandalwood scent. Are you joking? I legit thought this was gonna smell like bail, but it actually just smells like sandalwood, whatever that is. Yeah, what? Yeah, smell it. It does smell good though, I gotta admit. That just smells like someone who like, you'd go to their house, their basement has this big leather section all, a big flat screen with football playing. So the beer soap, it's just a gimmick. Doesn't yeah, it? it's just a little gimmick product. And I fell for it. I spent like, however much money this costs on it. Nonetheless, I'll still use it to shower. Time to use the bill soap. Grab my body clean. It has a D on the front. I don't know if that stands for or something, I don't know. This is a big bar of soap. I don't know if I like how it smells. It really kind of smells like food. Why does some soap do this? It makes me feel so clammy and dry. So I feel clean and that's what soap is supposed to do. That's great. I just don't know if I like the smell of it. For me, it might just be more of a one use and then I just don't never use it again.
I'm not sure what this is supposed to be used for. I'm just gonna assume it's supposed to tell you what way the wind is going, like north, south, west, or east. There was a slight breeze today, but for the most part, it just feels like you're in a swamp. I don't know if I'm just like, have this, this special ability, but I can kind of tell which way the wind's blowing. That's what I was thinking, like, it's pretty obvious, like, oh, if it's swaying you this way, then it's blowing that way. Yeah, like, I don't really need to see powder, but maybe some people are just more visual, you know? I'm very excited to be educated on the wind today. I love littering. I'm just joking, I'm gonna pick that up later. Premium formula. Yeah, I always buy quality products. I don't like skimping. Uh... Okay, so I don't know if that showed up on camera. Yeah, barely. Oh, you can kind of see it. Like I gotta say, the color on the front of the package, that was some false advertising. Yeah. Since the wind is going that way, that means... That means if you were tracking down a deer on the scent, that would mean that they're, your scent would be going that way so the deer would know. So you'd be shooting deers the other way. Okay. This is very useful then, so I can shoot more deer so I can provide more for my family. Oh, you guys caught us at the right time because this is the end of the Bass Pro Shop video. We're just out in wildlife as usual. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it. And now it's your guys' big decision to decide if Bass Pro Shop is for you. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna go.